Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. We are here, um, fresh out of our Elite 4 and Champion title. Uh, we are now going to be heading over to Nimona who is most likely going to battle us one last time. Um, you know, kind of like champion to champion. You know, Nimona is the only other, apparently the other student that is a champion. So we are on to Mo- oh wow. Wasn't there a rule that says that we're not supposed to have a battle in the city? I guess we're breaking that rule now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <coughs> Any second now. Is she gonna send out Tyranita? Ah, there you are, Astro Prime. <coughs> you ready for a battle between champions? Whoa, everyone's coming to watch. Cause all these folks uh, here seem ready to watch. Work got around, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. Yo, this is cool. Hey, look! Clavel. Oh, damn. The stage is set. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's my all out power. Tyranita! <laughs> Versus your strength in full fruition. Very cool. Let's see who comes out on top. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Yo, the music changed. Challenged by a champion, Nimona. Wait, is it me or is the music vibing a lot harder now? Yeah, yeah, I... I okay, we don't... We, didn't, we really didn't fight Nimona too many times. Finally, the thing I've been... Uh, I've all, waited all this time for a time to begin our greatest battle of all. Okay, to be honest, I don't... I know we don't fight Nimona very frequently. So, I actually don't really remember her, her music, but... <laughs> Oh my god, they set out on a stealth rock though, rock! Alright, so we seem to be doing the exact same strategy. She's setting up stealth rock, I'm setting up um, poison spikes. I guess this is truly a battle between champions. Uh oh! Ow. Okay, in terms of what we need to do, how do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Hell yeah, where's your Tyranita though? You have not let loose until your Tyranita comes up. <laughs> Alright, the setup is done on loop. Now we cannot uh, swap too liberally because, um, you know, that spikes. But we can still try. Okay, there we go. We're done there. Alright, Floop's done his job. That's great. Alright, we're gonna swap into Sprigly right now. If anything, we can always send in Popo to do revival. Ah well, stones digging into us, not good. We're gonna flower trick, this should finish off the lichen rock without a problem. Very cool. To think I helped teach you type matchups and now you're using them to put the hurt on me. Hell yeah. A critical hit at a critical moment, that goes beyond luck. You've got some kind of gift. Uh, it, it's flower trick but... Very cool. Alright, Hormod incoming, so that's a... ooh. Mm. It's not the best swap in, but... We're gonna have to hit real hard, because Hormod can hit back real hard too. Uh, no, there's a better option. Poison gone. <coughs> Very good. Alright, so the badly poison is kicking in. And then of course, uh, stones digging into us. Not good. We're gonna use Draining Case just to heal up. Oh, what the hell is a double shot? What the? Whoa. Well, that we hit a real hard. But we hit harder. Absorbing, hopefully, all sorts of health. There we go. Well, we're lucky to survive that hit though. Thank god. Offworm, ugh. Steel. Well, Flameblaze is gonna delete it. <coughs> okay, I think Offworm is the new Pokemon on her team. Oof. 
Yep, so that one, that, that happened. <laughs> Oh dear me, that's not good. That is not good. We needed that to hit a real hard. Yep. Aye. Oh boy, that one wasn't good. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, that one was a real bad. Hmm. We could use close combat and then swap out. For what it's worth. Yeah, well. Done spas. Oh damn. Is that ground? Thing is ground. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. The dun the dun spars. Yo. Alright, so the poison and the stones digging in. Hmm, oh wait, that is not good. Uh oh, yeah, I kinda worry about that. <coughs> oh boy. This may or may not be a bad, oh boy. Yowch. That one hits a real bad. Let's finish it off. Those crits flying left, right, center, man. <laughs> Gudra. Well, Gudra is gonna be an easy matchup. Either one will do. Let's bring in the Titan now, I guess. Oh, I think we should use Seliana actually. I might have to set Seliana, uh, Seliana up a little bit better. Just in case our last battle. Uh, Kokovo is water fighting, so Seliana might actually help us out there. Alright, good rice incoming. Ah, those poison stones. Very bad. I mean, not poison stones, sorry, sharp stones. Very bad. But it's okay, we have draining kiss, so that's good. Hmm? But that's not good. The Gudra be chonky. Uh oh! Well. Okay, we can drain. No, no, let's. We outspeed it. We can either destroy it. I don't think draining case is enough. Do you think? Yeah, it might be enough actually on second thought. Yeah, no, it leaves it lies. I knew it! Ugh. So worried that's gonna happen and did. Well, we did top out on the health a little bit. I. Alright, so Gudra's gonna get wanked by that. And not too bad. Alright, now Kukovo's coming out. So you see, the thing is, um, Sprigly is pretty low on the health department. So there's two options. We either use Popo for Thunder Punch, uh, which should work. Because I can uh, Terra Terrestrialize as well. So, yeah, but I, yeah, yeah, it is a bad option. I wouldn't want to risk uh, Sprigly like, Terrestrializing and then not being able to survive. It's just going to be awkward. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. Kubins, you do you. No Tyranita though, that makes me sad. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. <laughs> oh god, look at that. Just look at that. It's so disturbing. I can't. Lightning Popo. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. That. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, don't dance, don't dance. Oh god, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm actually doing my real best not to laugh. Look at the way he dance. Just stop. So awkward. Uh... Alright, nice. Woof! Nice. All right, there we go. A nice, good battle. Oh. Oh no. Oh. You. You did it. This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Astro Prime. Kubins. I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... Ah! Sorry, I know that. Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? So much better, so much more fun than I ever knew, even knew. Cool, she's nice. She's wholesome as all hell. Thanks for the incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Oh, so good. Nice. Hell yeah. Pretty cool. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Astro Prime. Before round two. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. Oh man, she's so wholesome. She's she's such a wholesome uh, rival. I like it. Yeah, she's a pretty wholesome rival. Hey, we're back in our dorm. Victory road complete. Hell yeah. Spree cool beans, spree cool beans. Here we go. Oh god. Yo, Arvin here. Wow wow. Whoa, down boy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old mess boss Tiff here all worked up extra friend. Oh, but why but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to area zero? Hell yeah. Of course you do, you little know-it-all. Gonna mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself. Build up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who wants to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now, we've all just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Oh! That's the Zero Gate. Pretty darn cool. We'll be waiting. Bow, wow, wow. All right. So yeah, we've worked a real hard, and now we are most likely going to the um, finale-ish of um, the area zero thingy. We're finally going to actually explore the crater. Now I don't know what to expect there. Like I said, I've been staying. Like even though we've been doing this series for the last um, today's the twenty fourth of November on this recording, so. The game has been released for what? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 7 days. So, even though I've been playing this game for a week, I have still actively been avoiding like videos online. Uh, just in case, you know, some of, that, some of those videos may have spoilers and I really didn't want to be spoiled um, in any way. So, um, yeah, I've been avoiding videos as well. So, this is... I wanted to ensure that we stay... Um, kind of like, the, the whole experience is as blind as possible. And so far, guys, I have no regrets making the decision, man. This... This adventure has been phenomenal so far, but of course, we have one last adventure to go for, which is the crater. Now again, I'm not sure how big or how small or how short or how long the content in the crater is going to be. Um, but because we have so much time, we're definitely going to pop in there um, and see what's up with Area Zero. So, um, wait, on second thought, should I level up my Pokemon though? Nimona's Pokemon was level 65. Well, we do have level 70s. I think we're okay. Yeah, all that effort uh, to level up paid off, man. Yeah, I think we're fine. Alright, so here's the thing. Um, we seem to need to go over to the mountainous area. Oh, stop. Now, I'm not sure how do we access the zero gate. I'm just going to assume we're going to climb a mountain. Yeah, this one makes sense. Is this awkward looking? Really? Yeah, we'll probably have to climb a mountain. I don't I don't know if there's a path. Oh, wait, I think I see a path. Wait, I'm very curious to know whether is there like a actual path for us to take. It would be nice if there is. Oh, there it is. 
Hmm. Yep, that that must be the path. Hey, did hey hey? I was not paying attention, lah. Oh yo, this one. And then the and then the lighting in this part of the tunnel is just gone. Absolutely gone. We're now playing like Elder Scrolls Arena or something. Oh yo. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. Hey, over here. Oh wow, the textures here is a real bad. Oh dear. Oh dear. What happened here? Okay, yeah, the quality on this part of the game is significantly lower. What the hell? This is the zero gate. It, it was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Miraidon was born, or something like that. Maybe you'll be happy that you can finally come back home. Not that I really care on anything. Anyway, you two, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Hmm. Oh, wow, it's a quest! The way home. Wait, the way home? Hmm. I don't think we're gonna lose Miraidon, will we? Doesn't make sense, right? We have been riding along with Miraidon. It doesn't make sense at all gameplay-wise to suddenly lose the ability to ride. So, no. So, I know that the, the story will not end with me, like with Miraidon going home. Yeah. I mean, I'm confident enough for that. Ugh. Ooh, very cool. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hey, uh, uh, oh yeah. Nimona, hola, Extra Prime. I haven't said there'll be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'll get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten into battle. Huh? But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Oh, yo! Oh, that's Penny. Well, now the lights are on. But why? I turn them on. Hello! Oh, our friends. Seems like they were on a power saving mode. Pretty cool. I hacked into the system control and overload the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess. My name is Penny. Well, hey. We've never got to actually talk. I'm the Mona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Oh, she's panicking. Uh, you talk like way too much. <gasps> the director introduced us. So you need someone good with tech. Oh, when you need someone good with tech, it's no brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Astro Prime. Good beans. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you Astro Prime and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love includes my mess boss tip and cooking the biometric identification in progress. Oh dear. Hello, Astro Prime. I have been expecting you. Oh, are we going to finally meet the professor though? And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Kubins. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad, probably. Oh, you probably. Wait. What? That's Professor Tiro? Nimona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, not maybe not in person exactly. Ava, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. Cool! Um, that? Please proceed below. Oh no. He's not very happy that his father is not even here to greet them. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Oh man, feels bad. Wonder if the professor's any good at Pokemon battling. Really, that's all you can think about? I guess we better proceed below as requested. Tsuro used to be really famous. Everyone knew who he was, but he hasn't been in the media in like ages. Hmm. Yeah, so Arvin's probably just really unhappy that the dad's not even here to say hi, like formally. Which is really sad if your son and your, your parents are just, you know, working. A real hard. Ooh. Alright, so I guess we're going down. 
Oh, Kubins. Oh. Is it Fault 76? 101 or 111, Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Oh, nice. Access granted to the lower levels. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Astro Prime, you have brought me right on with you. Yeah? I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. I guess, if you utilize Mirado's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. Nice! What? Isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Mirado can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch with- Once again, I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff just, just like always. Oh dear. I can't wait to see what Pokemon lives down in Area Zero. Let's go. You do realize there's only one Miraidon? That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? Like there's one Miraidon. How are y'all going down? I guess we better go too. Bros, are we, are we gonna ignore the fact that there's only one Miraidon? I, we, we, I, well, I guess they're gonna parachute or something. I don't know. Hello? Oh. Astro Prime, ready for the worst? I feel like they're preparing me for something a real bad. Well, I guess let's go. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Oh boy. Something a real bad is gonna happen. Whoa, this scene though, damn. Kubins! I mean, right now it's so cute. Hmm? What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I would say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. Aww. How does that logic work? <laughs> Get on! Oh. Yeah! Whoa! Yo, that's so cool! Oh man, I feel like we just unlocked like a new area. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the Paldea map, like the middle part is now gonna open up because like area zero is probably... No! Ew. Yeah, things got exciting until I saw the graphics, then it's like, oh well, it's a gentle reminder that this game is not perfect. <sighs> yep, but, but our guess was right, it is a brand new area to explore, probably. I'm not sure whether this is counted as like post-game, or is it still part of the main story, I'm actually not very sure. But it's interesting. And now, I'm back here again. Ah, I think I might have died once or twice there. <laughs> oh, he's... Oh no, he's scared, isn't it? It's okay, bud. No. Oh. oh you. It chose to go back in, into his ball. It's probably just hungry or something. No, something's wrong. Wait a second. Where's the student council go? Oh dear, did she just run off? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing! She gives me a lot of like berry vibes. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Four human identified conditions satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha ah, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. He <laughs> does I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available SS method. Hmm. I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. <laughs> Aw, you were worried about us. That's too sweet. That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the, at the zero lab in the deepest part of area zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Oh dear. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Oh! Okay. At this station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you may as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. 
Okay, yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Eh, <laughs> I see what they did there. Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Cool beans. Alright, so... Yeah, we're probably exploring like a brand new area. And of course, our friends have, will have magically disappeared right now. Ta-da! Oh! I stand corrected! Oh, wow! There's a lot of... Wait, you can't ride me right on here. That makes me very sad. I wonder if there's anything else up here. Hmm, still seem to be any items. This might actually just be an instanced area. But we can't see anything up there, it's just a crater. Whoa! Why are there vocals? Whoa! Whoa! Like ignoring the fact about how bad it looks, it I mean like graphically, it, it that is an that would have been a phenomenal view if like you know graphically it wasn't this. So this is the inside of the great crater of Paldea. Feels different just from seeing it in the textbook. It's so intense. Normally we'll never be able to get in here. Huh wait, where did Miraidon go? Seems like I got spooked by something, he's hiding in his ball. And Serio? That's not good. Can we even get back to the surface without it? Ah, should be alright. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through. A real sob story. Why don't you just call the professor if he's down here? Don't get along or something? <laughs> None of your business. Speak sweet. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. Why are you getting all huffy? Okay, come on you two. This is an adventure. Let's have a good time. Not him. Yo, this place is crazy. Hey, I walked into something. I'm blind. Oh, come on! I hate it! I need Ploop to be in my lead, but Ploop cannot run from a battle worth shit. Oh, Ploop. Oh, God, no. That is not helpful. I can't escape. Why? Fine. <sighs> How would he do that? LOL What well, was an absolute waste of my time Okay, let's let's pay a Okay, I mean I was so busy like taking in the sights I wasn't even paying attention to where we were walking And hence I walked into that 3D Like, do we go in there though? Okay, I know that they are shiny Okay, can I gamble that we will be able to come back? I mean, the game won't be that stupid, right? Not to allow me to come back here Hmm like, I actually don't know where to go though. Whoa. Wait, this can't be it. I can't ride me right on. Wait, the map doesn't very doesn't help us a lot, does it? It's a breviary. How do I? Yo, I am immediately lost. By the way guys, there's a trick to um, falling. So if you guys are ever in a situation where you need to drop but the game refuses to, all you have to do is run towards the... Yeah, so it, normally when you do this, it'll just kind of like not make you fall. But if you press and hold B... Uh, no, not hold, sorry. You just tap B, your slide, and that will allow you to actually get through the cliff. Um, there's no fall damage in the game. So what happens is that you will just kind of... Your Rotom phone will kind of catch you. So, yeah. So Penny, how do you wind up with friends? You guys, he really just came through with me. Uh, I think I was going off the real school. Was a mess. My friendship was little. Stroma was a big help. Getting all that sorted. I also help you out while taking the gym. So what about you then, Nimona? Uh, Stroma and I are classmates. Neighbors back home too. Plus, I said we aim to be champion and he did it. So I got the champion butt. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship origin stories with Astro Prime? It's nothing compared to me. He went through our friendships on another level. Nobody asked you to stop trying to flex on us. Ha! Guess we're all in the butts with Astro Prime Club. Okay, now I have a slight big problem, guys. Now, part of me can know the lab's right there. It only makes sense for me to just fall through it. But I'm only worried that if we use these methods to go down, um, I'm, I'm actually worried we might miss a lab. 
Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Thanks. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, that's what they're called. Reddish rations? Research stations. Huh, well I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Whoa, she's rude. Shreem! Oh yo! Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon Le uh, Leprimera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Astro Prime, let's take it on, t take it on together. Nice. Clima! Go, Clue! Champion Demona sends out, uh, what's this rock? Oh, I can't catch it. That makes me quite sad. Here. Oh shit! That me or me not have been a huge miss. Oh yo! Never mind. Hmm. That's like a really cool ability though. Imagine if you get hit and you scatter toxic spikes. That's like a, such a free way to scatter toxic spikes. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Damn, it's pretty exciting. We're really going on a mystery adventure here, boys. Oi. Glimmer crystal long. Alright, let's go take a look. Hey, there's a sleeping spot. Nice. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. The facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Astro Prime, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using the central panel. I don't know. Okay, um, I'm getting a little bit suspicious. Yeah, I don't think Professor Turo is Professor Turo. I got a feeling he's like some bad AI shit that's pretending to be Professor Turo, and the and the dude's like dead long ago. I don't think it's Turo. I really don't. No. Oh. Well, I guess I can't really say no. Fine. You heard the professor? Better press it. Lock disabled. Three or four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research station. Yeah, Avan suspects something. Yeah, no. Okay, I don't think Professor Turo is Professor... Okay, I think some AI bullshit... Like, he's essentially talking like a robot. Come on, there's no way that's him. Right? Yeah, there's no way that's him. Now, we're gonna new continue going deeper. I always never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh, is it time for a backstory review? Penny, shh. He was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. I cooked my, for myself, cleaned for myself. My was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know him at all. Even if he is my dad. I try not to think too much about it. About it. Get, well, I, this is too... You, can you guys just read it on your own? Pause the video if you need to. This is way too fast. Some family, right? Oh, but, uh, uh, but I'm not here to judge or anything. I'm, I'm stopping because I'm wondering whether it slows down. Damn. Penny, my name's Penny. You big lunk. That's the spirit you do. Yeah, okay, honestly, because there's. Oh, god, dear. I'm trying to go see my dad. I got about this far and got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. Uh oh. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? Wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like a cre- Oh! Like the Dawn fan. Roboty than average? Yeah. Completely different creature altogether. Hmm. Huh. 
Nimona. Yeah, I was about to mention that. Nimona, can you be a little bit more sensitive to what's happening? Okay, so clearly these little slopes are a fast way to kind of just cut across. Whoa, it's a talent flame. Kubians. Hey, it's a Chansey. Bunch of Corvi Knights. But we're here at the second research station. Yeah, so obviously this is their attempt. Oh yeah, some bad things gonna happen. The second research station, about time too. Phew, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'll have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Eh, whew, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <laughs> oh, damn! Hey, look, a Delibird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here. That is not a Delibird. It's like a robotic Delibird. Nelly! Oh my gosh, so cute! Ah! What the? Wah! Astro Prime, it's battle time! Oh yeah, we get to battle with each of them, cool. So what's this? Alright, Loop and Umbreon, nice. Penny of Team Star, wow. Iron Bundle. Well, I guess it's still tight, maybe? Drops. I don't. We can't catch it, can we? Sorry, Umbreon. Whoa! Quite cool. I'm sorry, Umbreon. I really am. Oh, damn. Let's try this one. Uh oh. Oof. Nice. Uh. Seriously, what was that? That thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a Delibird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Probably have to go and press the Buton again. I mean, it's pretty cool that we have our friends running along. I thought they'd be lazy and just kind of let it teleport, let it disappear. Well, it looks like pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hmm. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. What's that book? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, we saw this. Wait, have you seen this before? Cash Glimpse of Mysterious Pokemon? Oh yeah, yeah, we, we've read this before. Yeah, Biological Set, Thread of Iron. Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Astro Prime? I don't think they're regular Pokemons. Maybe, they definitely do look different at least. Never see any of them in Pokedex either. Suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see here residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that live in a distant day we have yet to see. Oh, future Pokemon. What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I am located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. Oh, damn. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cause was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the pre- <gasps> Oh no. Dad, you... He's in the future. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. 
it will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then Astro Prime, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Oh no, I think he did it, he travelled into the future and now he can't come back. Is that it? Oh shoes, oh this just got exciting. Well done, please continue your efforts. Hey Astro Prime. You know the book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place, or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Oh crap, we got the violet book. I don't want it! The book has the name Turo written in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me, okay Astro Prime? I, I don't want it, I really don't. Honestly, I don't. Damn. Okay, so this has gotten a real exciting because uh, there is a lot of adventure happening here. Now, um, it's already about 40 minutes into the episode, so I don't want to drag. Uh, we, we can save the last two research lab and whatever else happens after that for the last uh, for the next episode. It might be the last episode, I don't know. I feel like we're all accumulating into this final ending. Uh, I really don't know how long this entire sequence is going to be, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and you, and you know, you guys are excited for the next one. So I'll see you then.